comrades and friends, brothers and sisters, True Labour is out tonight to endorse Kelton Dalso as its candidate for St. George's. He has been around campaigning and we are hoping that you will support him to become your representative. He has lots of ammunition to open your eyes and mind to develop not only in Pickards but the entire constituency and the entire Antigua and Barbuda. When he comes to the podium, he will explain some of his plans. Listen attentively and make your choice on election day for the person who you feel will give you justice, freedom, and the opening of jobs for the unemployed. And he also will be protecting our heritage and defending our democracy. That is the aim of true labor. Gandhi said many years ago, many people, especially ignorant people, want to punish you for speaking the truth, for being correct, for being you in continuous never apologize for being correct or for being years ahead of your time if you are right and you know it speak your mind even if you are a minority of one the truth is still the truth. I say that to say this. We from True Labor has come to explain to you some of the things that are wrong. Some of the things that we believe will make Antigua become the gem of the Caribbean again. We have lost a lot of grounds. And we intend true, true labor to pick it up and run with it. We need your support. We need your assistance. We cannot do it alone. We have to have proper ammunition to work with. And you, the people, will determine which of the candidates you believe will be the person to represent you in the parliament. I would like you to know also that I, Dayton Samuel, a former soldier in the West India Regiment, a former soldier in the Antigua Defense Force, a former soldier in the Antigua and the Barbuda Defense Force is here to defend what I believe and what I taught everybody believe is true. I would like you to know that we are going forward with a plan of national service. Should we get into power, national service will become the norm of the day. National service will begin at age 18. It indicates education, agriculture, security, and tourism. EAST spells East. And from the time I was small, I was told that wise men comes from the East. 
therefore what we have within us to offer you we hope you'll accept in the first stage of six months you'll be doing for the national service being trained as a police and a soldier then the next six months you'll be in Barbuda then the next six months you'll be around Cades Bay the next six months you will be at Shirley Height Dockyard the next six months you'll be at Diamonds the last six months you'll be in St. John's one subject CXC to take and that will be agriculture do you know that in 1982 Japan was buying Sea Island cotton at 10 US dollars per pound and up to now they are still buying Sea Island cotton at 10 US dollar a pound nothing gone up and we have to try and get that back on stream properly so that our economy may start to grow again there are many things that have got to be done there are many things that I know you would like to hear said here tonight the other speakers will tell you some of it but my thing is and which grieves me wholeheartedly is Antigua is fast becoming like Sodom and Gomorrah and the preachers are not saying anything on the pulpit about it God is mad with us because when he made Adam and Eve and he wanted Sodom and Gomorrah he would have then made Adam and Steve so I want you people to realize that God is watching us God is in control and he will determine where we go from here we need to stand up stand up and do what is right before we fall into a trap yes. the trap has been set we have got to open our eyes yes. and try and defend it the CIP is on board and when it when you think about it that they intend to sell the beaches the beach fronts where are you going to go to wash your skin to have a picnic you'll be in trouble yes. and then in the next I would say 15 to 20 years we will be suffering what our forefathers suffered many years ago and that is slavery and when I talk about slavery I look around Antigua especially in St. John's and what you're seeing nearly the whole of St. John town full of a Chinese or Syrian the next thing that is going to happen our beaches are going to be filled with the same set of people and we will be in the center of the island the Chinese were here many years ago and Antigua men stood up like men then and the Chinese had to run out of Antigua early one morning for boat we have got to stand up we have got to realize that we in 1834 when slavery was abolished we walked off the estate not knowing what we were going to eat or what we were going, where we were going to sleep 
and our forefathers did it and was proud to do it and we stood up that the other islands who had to do three years apprenticeship was jealous of us that is why they laugh at us now they find themselves traveling all around us there is something I learned while I was in the West Indy Regiment in Jamaica and that was that people who they were using to advise the West India government knew nothing whatsoever about the West Indies because they were white they brought them but Antigua now is not bringing only white people they're bringing people from Barbados, Trinidad, and all around the place. And we have people with the same qualifications and better, quali and better qualifications, and they are not using them. They prefer to send for them, pay them big money, give them a lot of tip-offs, and we here are suffering. My people, tonight I want you to go home and think seriously about what Dalso is going to tell you about this constituency that he intends to be the representative for. What he intends to do. Because there are many things that I know Morel Thomas that used to live just around there had in mind. And I believe Dalso has some of those in his mind. But Mr. Thomas is resting in peace. Comrades and friends, we need you now more than ever. And I will tell you, as the good book says, rise up, O men of God, and put your armor on. Because we Antiguans know how to fight, and we will fight to the end in order to get Antigua back on the path that it was. That is, it was held at the Caribbean. Now we are being tread upon. Is that what you want? I'd like you to think about your children and your children's children because they are the ones that are going to suffer. They are the ones that are going to say, I wonder what my parents used to do while we we're growing up. Think about it. And while thinking about it, remember, God moves in mysterious ways, His wonders to perform. We have lots of work to do. And when I say lots, I mean lots. Yes, some of us, when I think back, the pineapple, the sweetest in the world, the peanuts in Barbuda, one of the biggest in the world. So we can have our own canning product in Antigua by the produce that we can grow. But, as I understand it, it appears as though they intend to bring some farmers from Trinidad to do the farming and do the canon. If that is what we the people in Antigua want, if you notice I didn't say you, we the people in Antigua want, well we'll get it. You don't know then. I want you all to stand up. Stand up and face reality. We cannot afford to fall back into the misery of yesteryear. But what we can do we can protect what we have and make it become better. I would like to end off with a little poem. Is it time to sympathize or upset yourself with this? What I see here is a challenge.
thought this part we sometimes miss. Sure, a challenge can distress you. It's a trying situation. You can run and you can hide. It's a tempting invitation. But I tell you, if you stand up and you face this obligation, you will learn that you are stronger from this challenging situation. For as tough as things might get, even frightening it can be, you can face this challenge knowing it's not as big as you or me. Remember, Dalso is your candidate from True Labour and we expect you to listen to him when he comes to the podium and let him sell you what he has for this constituency. And if you find that it is not possible to be as truthful as he's trying to make it, don't be afraid to face him and tell him so, so that he can make the necessary corrections. Because we don't doubt so. I am telling you the truth. You're going to suffer a little longer. Good night. Amen. You're not alone. Live I'll be right there for you. You're not alone. You live I'll be right there.